perfect. But if you can be a raggedy ass dog and be like, what? no, fuck you. First of all, you ain't never gonna change how I am. You ain't gonna change how I help. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck all of you people trying to make me somebody else that I'm not. And I'm just saying, I'm not the greatest person, but I'm trying. Oh, girl, this video is going to be a little bit of a roller coaster ride. Firstly, sorry I didn't upload anything yesterday. I was feeling really, really kind of poorly. So, managed to injure myself yesterday, but I am back today with a video or two for you, hopefully, tonight. So, this first video, as you saw the first clip there, Hank and Henry, CEO, is in the drama again. Now, you might know that Truth Sleuth, another drama channel, made a video about Hank and Henry a few days ago, but this is kind of a follow-up because he was kind of in the drama for telling somebody to K-word themselves on an IG live stream. If you didn't know about that, I suggest you go and check out Truth Sleuth's video on that. But this one, girl... He has been on a bit of a drunken IG rant again, but this time he laid into a lot of big influencers, calling them out by name, and it is a little bit crazy, but I'm going to play quite a big clip of the IG live. This was about half an hour long, but I took about seven minutes of it here just to show you guys because there was a lot of people that he called out during this live stream and it is kind of messy 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 so i am here getting into my makeup going to be doing a nice green look today before i play you this clip though i will warn you there's a lot of cursing and there are some kind of topics that people might find triggering relating to addiction and also a bit about kind of trauma that people might find triggering so if you're triggered by that stuff Maybe don't watch this bit, but I really want to play you this clip because in this clip he responds to criticism about what he said, telling that girl on his IG live to K-word herself and all that stuff. He responds to that and then he goes in and has a big rant about a lot of current influencers and it's very, very messy, but I said this video might be a little bit of a roller coaster ride. So guys, buckle in and watch the clip. But no, but you all love, and you know what's the saddest part of it? You all love basic. You all love basic. Look at all the influencers that are out right now. Look at all of your influencers. They don't do nothing. They do the bare minimum. All your influencers, all of them, all of them. And I say, all of them. I told you guys about how I lost all, everything that I had as a child because grown man molested me. I give you guys every fucking thing of me. But what does your favorite influencer do? Uh, I got a new eyelash brand to sell you. I got new, I got a new combination. You guys are so used to basic love that you don't you even know how to find real life. license plate. Oh, I have masks too. I am trash, but I'm trying to be a good person. <laughs> And I'm just trying. So sometimes I say stupid shit. I get that. I get that. But the fact that like dumb bitches can be like, we need to cancel Henry. Me? Really? Losos? Because I told the one bitch, I can kill you. Because she was being mean to me and said I did meth, knowing that my mom's a meth addict. <laughs> bitch. But none of your favorites do anything. They're so fucking basic and boring. All they do is do fucking YouTube videos to sell you shit. Look at, tell me, tell me, tell me any, tell me one of your favorites that does anything that doesn't sell shit. Don't. All of your favorites, they sell you shit. I don't. I go on live and I fucking love you and I tell you my fucking darkest demons, but you don't care. You find, not, not all of you, but like, the, and I'm talking to the people who are not like, Hold on. Come on. What? No, 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 I'm on live. I need it. No, 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 no. Stop. Let's go. No, don't tell me what to do. Baby, let's go. Come over, baby. No. Come on. So, it fucks with my heart that I give so much, and then um, I'm compared to the regular degulars. The people who do YouTubes, they're regular degulars. All they do is they film. 
they film what you, they literally they film a video and they edit and what do I do? I go live every fucking day for four or five days. I go live and I show you my fucking wrongness. I sh- I tell you everything about my life and then it's not fair that people get to choose my anger, my happiness, my sadness. Yeah, you come onto my live and you say some shit. Do you talk about me? Oh, are you on meth? But no, I'm not. And how can you tell me that when my mom's an ex meth that kill yourself? I can say that. I have every right to say that. I have every right that you should kill yourself. When you just told me, a, it's not fair. But I signed up for it. And I'm going to tell you. Go to any of your favorite followers. And I'm going to call them out. Desi Perkins. Um, fucking Patrick. Fucking Manny. Fucking all of them. I love them to death. All of your favorite fuckers. They don't do live because they can't do it. None of your fucking favorite bitches can do live. And I love them to death, but they can't do it because it's not easy to do. You have to entertain. And that's what I do. I put on a show and I entertain. I'm so happy. I'm the only fucking person in this entire industry who goes live six to eight hours every time he goes live. Every fucking day. And I love it. And I love the death. But I'm going to tell you right now. These weird shit cancel shit. Like I'm tr- I'm getting canceled right now. Because I told the bitch go kill yourself. Based on fucking you telling me. I'm a mess. My mom's a mess. Bitch I have every right to tell you to say that. I fucking hate that. And. I don't care. Because honestly it has nothing to do with who I am and what I'm doing. But it's just like what. Why do I have to apologize? Why is it my fault? It makes no fucking sense. You guys, you guys never, like those same people never hold. I'm on live. I'm, t- uh, I'm on live. I, I, I have not this. Do that to everybody else. And you know why you can't? Is because your favorite influencers, your Jackie Ina's, your this is, your that. Nobody does that. Let let them do lives. Let them do lives. Nobody does that. Nobody does fucking lives every fucking day. And give their fucking full vulnerability. And it's not fair. But it. But I signed up for that. And honestly, I don't really care. I'm not even sad about it. Like, whatever. So, you know, it's it's really funny. Because honestly, the influencers who you guys praise the most, they don't do anything. They don't do nothing. That's why I don't fuck with influencers. I think influencers is the word. Influencer, the word should die. Because they don't even deserve the word influencer. No, none of them. None of them do. What do they influence? You guys, you people watching me right now, you guys are the influencers. Because you buy the products. You think all these bitches putting their product... um, They're not influencers. They're they're paid advertisement. You guys are the influencers. Because if you didn't buy the product that they influence... They wouldn't be the influencer. You're the influencer. And that's what I always say. It was just like... No, these are hella drunk rants. But you know what? I'm so sick... Dude, first of all, the word influencer is fucking trash. Most of these, most of these influencers trying to be anything, they're they're literally entangled. First of all, I have never. I, I mean, I've maybe got paid once for an influencer, but first of all, I don't give a fuck about that shit. First of all, no, nobody can cancel me because I have you fuckers in my life. You know what I hate is I grew up in this entire beauty industry thinking that these people were great people, but they're not. They're not. They're fucking opportunists trying. Hey, can we, can we, can you get out so she can lock this? Because all of our shit's inside here. Okay. I'm on live and the fact you're disrespecting me right now. Back the you. fuck up. You're disrespecting my life. Back the fuck up. I'm talking right now on my live. Don't talk and it, like that, bro. I'm telling you. Don't it's my, like that. Don't it's like my that. life. I don't care. Don't talk like that, bro. I'm telling you. It's my <laughs> life, homie. Don't talk like that. Talk like that. Okay, what I will say is, yeah, he's clearly a bit drunk in that clip. 
clearly drunk, but you know, he said a lot in that live stream. And honestly, you know, I'm going to leave that up to you guys. I'm not going to tell anyone what to think about this. You know, he spoke a little bit about cancel culture. He spoke about some other influencers. Some of it does sound kind of shocking, but at the same time, you know, some of it, maybe there's some truth in it. You know, talking about current influencers and everything like that, you know, the, oh, they don't really do anything, you know, his words, not mine, but like, sometimes I have felt that way myself about some of the top tier kind of influencers in the beauty world, you know, that we see like edited YouTube videos from them and, you know, that's it a lot of the time. But, you know, you guys can leave all your thoughts and opinions about that clip down below. I'm not going to go on about that any longer. Otherwise, this video is going to get stupidly long. But what I do want to move on to is a little bit more James Charles drama. Now, Kevin James Bennett, somebody else from the beauty world, has been on Twitter and called out James Charles and Morphe brushes. Now, of course, you'll know if you've been watching any of my recent videos or anyone else's recent videos on this whole James Charles scandal, you will know what has been going on, that James Charles has been sexting minors and Morphe are still not denouncing James Charles. They're still not saying anything about the situation, that they're still working with James Charles. And there's been a lot of speculation that it's because James Charles and Morphe have some kind of contract where James Charles will be coming out with a makeup line that is invested in by former brands who, of course, invest in Morphe. So former brands, they are kind of like a beauty brand accelerator. They are invested in other brands like Player Hair Care, Jacqueline Cosmetics, um, Such Good Everything. And also there was another one, Bad Habit Skincare as well. So former brands are invested in all of these brands, all of these kind of beauty brands and hair care brands. And now I think they're also invested in James Charles upcoming beauty brand. I don't know, but I think they are. From the things that I found online, it looks like James Charles is going to be releasing a fragrance and some kind of makeup line under the name of James Charles Artistry. I did put the receipts of that in a video a few days ago. So if you want to check that out, that is in a video which I think I called James Charles Future Plans. So that is up in that video. But for this one, we're going to get into Kevin James Bennett's tweets about James Charles and Morphe. Kevin James Bennett tweeted out, it's pretty obvious why Morphe brushes, or should I say former brands, are protecting their cash cow, James Charles. They must have a lot of money invested in his new brand. Why else would they drop other major influencers so easily, but be silent about an admitted sexual predator? He elaborated, we suspect that the silence of former brands regarding the predatory behaviour of James Charles towards minors is because of their investment in his cosmetic brand, but at Morphe Brushes and at former brands, avoiding the topic make it appear as if they support the illegal behaviour. Then today he also tweeted out this, when apology videos fail, high profile influencers often cite mental health to garner sympathy. If you're considering self-harm, get help, get off social media and get help. But don't dare insult people who truly struggle with mental health by using it as a get out of jail free card. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but for me personally, seeing those tweets from Kevin James Bennett there, I was like, yep, bang, you've hit the nail on the head. There is nothing there that I disagree with. Honestly, it's refreshing to see people from the beauty space speaking out about this. I know Antonio Garza also made a tweet and spoke out about it. You know, and that girl Shay the other day made a few tweets about the James Charles situation as well, which I put in another video. But it's really refreshing to see some bigger names in the beauty world starting to speak out about the whole James Charles situation because I don't think it should go unnoticed, especially if... You're talking about him working with a big brand like Morphe, who are kind of backing a cosmetics brand that he's to come out with, allegedly. By the way, do you like my dinosaur dungarees today? Cool, huh? Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this little video right here. Sorry it's been a bit of a rant, bit of a longer one today, but please do let me know all your thoughts and opinions on the topics in this video. Take care. I will see you very soon on the next one. 
hope you're all having a great day or evening whatever it is where you are see you soon and thank you so much for watching love you guys